Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. My name is Andrew and I'm with Pure Resonance Audio and today we're going to be talking about how to wire up a end ceiling speaker. So here in front of us we have some products. We have a simple mixer amplifier called the MA30BT. And then over here we have our C6 six and a half inch in ceiling speaker. So today we're just going to show you how to wire up one speaker. Um, in an audio system you probably have more than that. Maybe you just have a couple, maybe you have 10 or 12, uh, but the concept will still be the same regardless. There's two things to keep in mind. You have your speaker output terminals on your amplifier, and then you have your input and your output uh, on your speaker. And so we're gonna show you how to wire it up today. I have already pre-stripped our wire. If you need help doing that, have any questions, we're gonna link a video below that we made to show you the process of doing that. Um, so let's get started. So pretty simple, you have two conductor, twisted pair wire. Two conductor just means you have positive and negative. Simple 70 volt system um, is what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, so let's get started. On the back of the amplifier here, hopefully you can see it's labeled speaker output. You have uh, COM, that's your COM. You have uh, 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 16 ohm, 70 volt, and 100 volt. So today we're gonna be talking about the 70 volt, uh, which is a distributed audio system that you uh, wire a lot of speakers onto a system. We won't get into, into that today, but uh, for today's demonstration, uh, we're gonna be on the 70 volt. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna connect one speaker to the speaker output of this amplifier. So, two conductor speaker wire, you have your red, which is your positive, black is your negative. Um, we're gonna connect the black or the negative wire to the comm, so all you'll do is you'll loosen this, this little screw up, it'll open it, you'll see it open, and it will just go in there. You can go over or under, it doesn't matter. You just want a nice connection. Um, with this copper, exposed copper. So put it in the terminal and you tighten it down like so. You don't want to go too hard where it just completely crushes the wire, but you don't want it to be loose to where you can pull it out. So to test it, you can just kind of pull on it. If it doesn't come out, then you're good to go. Uh, for today's demonstration, we're going to be going into 70 volt. So you'll go to 70 V, loosen that one up, put the red wire in, clamp it down. You want to make sure that when you're clamping it down, you're just going onto the copper. The, you don't want any plastic, this outer sheath, to be in there. It could create some sort of problem. So just make sure it's the copper in there. Do the test again. It's not coming out, so we're nice and snug. So we're on the output, and we're going to go to uh, the input of this particular speaker, which is the C6. Um, on the back here, you'll see there's like this little housing. It looks different on different speakers, but um, on the C6, you kind of got to open up and you'll see this little green thing in here. What is that? It's called a Phoenix connector or a Euro block. And this is where you're going to connect the other positive negative into. This is labeled and uh, there are, these could be different as well. This one says uh, loop in, loop minus, in minus, in plus, and loop plus. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use those plus and minus ends. Um, so we're going out of the amplifier, going to the input of this particular Euro block Phoenix connector. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you loosen those up. You'll see them open. Let's see if I can get that captured there. So as you loosen it, it opens up. So positive to positive and negative to negative. I'm just going to put them in there at the same time. It's going to be a little tricky if you're not used to it, but positive, positive, negative, negative, kind of hold them there, tighten them back up. So you'll feel it, just kind of give it a nice little snug turn, same thing on the other one. All right, and do the same kind of test, just kind of pull on it, not too hard, they're not going anywhere, so we're good to go. So these other terminals, you might be wondering, what are those for? So if I have more than one speaker, um, I can do what's called daisy chaining. So you come off of this speaker, go to the second speaker, go to the second speaker from the to the third speaker and so on. So what you can do is you utilize these, take more speaker wire, go in positive negative and run to the input of the next speaker. And so that's not what this video is about. We just wanna show you kind of basic wire connections. You'll put this Phoenix connector back in 
and boom. If I were to have my music source going into this amplifier playing, turn up the volume, I would get volume and sound out of this speaker. So super basic, it's not rocket science, it does take just a little bit of knowledge and understanding of what goes where, but at the end of the day, it's definitely doable. But if you have questions about it or if we can clear something up, please let us know. Um, until next time, we'll see you guys later.